So there's a story in the book of Judges of this guy, Shemgar. And he was standing with, with the rest of his, his military, the rest of his warriors. And the Philistines started to charge across the field. And everybody takes off. Like everybody takes off and they abandon him. And he's standing in a field of lentils. Now there's no value to, to a lentil. It's not like it's a, like some fine wheat or barley or, or grain that's sought after or, or even, you know, even grapes or, or anything like that. They're lentils. They mean nothing. They're worthless. A lot of times they're just grain that are left for the, for the poor or for the animals to graze on. And that's where uh, Shamgar found himself was in the middle of this field and all alone because everyone that he had he had uh, originally marched into battle with had abandoned him when the enemies began to charge when the Philistines were coming at him and what did he do he stood his ground he didn't run he had faith he had faith in God the same God that all of his 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 partners were all there to fight on behalf of the same God that was promised time after time to deliver a victory. The same God that had delivered the victories through all the years and all the battles before when only uh, his army showed just a little bit of faith. Most of the time, a lot of times, they didn't have to raise a weapon, right? He brought down walls, right? With the, with the, with the shout of praise and, and, the, and, the, and the blowing of trumpets. But here, Shamgar, with all of his warriors, and now all alone in a worthless, wasted field of lentils. And here comes 600 Philistines, and he stood his ground. And all he had was an ox goat. It's just a, just a tool uh, that, that's got a little point on one end, you use it to, to goad the ox. And on the other end, it's just got a little thing to, like a little pry bar to break up rocks and things like that. But he had the faith of God. He had the promise of God. He had the past performance of God and the future promises of God. And what did he do? He slayed 600 Philistines. 600 Philistines by himself in that worthless field of lentils. Why? Why? Why not run? Why not take off? Why not flee and assure his safety to maybe fight another day? Well, it's simple. Because that day was his day. That was his field of lentils. And you know, like in our lives, how many times do we abandon the promise? Now, it may just be an empty, it may be a, a field of lentils that may not be important to anybody else. It may be a, a high school degree or a GED or, or a third-hand car. Or maybe a second chance of a relationship. And everybody else may look at it like, why? Why? There's nothing special about that. I've got this. I've got that. It's important to you. Because it's the gift that God gave you. And, 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 it's, and it's what's in the soil. It's what's in the promise of the harvest. That's important. But if you're, if you're like the rest of Shamgar's friends and who took off you'll never ever realize the benefit of what it was that God had planted in your life for you. But if you do like Shamgar and you stand your ground and you stand on the promise of God, that promise, that field, that lentil, that whatever it is in your life, that recovery, right? That, that restored relationship with your, with your friend, your child, your spouse, it'll blossom and it'll bloom. If only you'll have the faith to stand and you know, what's important is maybe he was just tired of running and he decided to take a stand. But what's important is that it was his field. It was the field that God gave him. And it didn't matter what anybody else thought. It didn't matter how worthless or worthful that field of lentil was. It was his. And God had given that to him. And he stood his ground and God gave him the victory. Why? Because he was faithful. So. Are you running? Are you running from, from, from your field? Are you running from your promise, from your potential, from your gift that God's given you? Consider standing your ground, using what God's given you, and he'll deliver the victory. So God bless you. We love you, and we're praying for you.